I did my panel today on my classmate. I mean, on my friend. He came. And, like, he moved for some reason. I don't know what I did wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's because the first time I was trying to expose, I wasn't holding long enough, so I asked for help. And then the girl told me to press the reset button, so I pressed the reset button. And I still wasn't... It still wasn't exposing, so... And then I called my teacher, and then she's like, you need to press the reset button. And I was like, I pressed the reset button. She's like, but since you press expose already, it's going to say reset. And so I reset it again, and then that time I went to expose, I forgot to like realign him or something. So after resetting, I didn't realign him, so then his bite block, it was moving out of the panel thingy. And so he moved. Um, the image was all messed up, and so he, and so I failed that part, and so I had to redo it on the same patient, but I'm still have to redo it on another patient. Um, so yeah, and then when I redid it on him, it was actually pretty good. It was good. Like, it was good. It looked like one of the practice x-rays from class. So yeah, I'm just eating now, and then I have... To study for my chemistry quiz tomorrow and do chemistry homework and then work on my essay which is due tomorrow my little literature review and then yeah the seniors have their mock boards tomorrow i'm really excited for them i don't get to help out that's the other cohort in front of me so we're just gonna have a regular day tomorrow and yeah more patients next week. I'm excited. So I'm going to school now, and um, I don't think I vlogged it yesterday, but I have an essay due tonight. Well, really in the afternoon. Um, and so I'm going to finish it like during the day and during lunch, and then I'll print it, and so it'll be ready for my afternoon class. Um, the sun is not flattering. I'll vlog later. guys so I finished school and so it was good I first went to the library this morning to drop off the library books that are due tomorrow and then what did I do next I napped in the car I ate breakfast and then I went to school a little bit before the lunch break hour and then I met up with my friends and we went out to a club place um, and then I went to class it was pretty clinic day so we went over um, we went over the symbols for dental charting because we have a dental charting assignment due in a few weeks and then we started doing our instrumentation but first, before that, we started, um, we practiced how to measure overjet and overbite. That was kind of, it was, it was okay. I got it. But that's on my type, type of dawn, which has no saliva in it. So I don't know how it'll go with an actual person. So, and then I practiced my posterior Gracie. I haven't done my comp on that yet. So I need a so I finished mandibular on the posteriors with the Gracie. And I have to practice at home on the maxilla on the posterior Gracie. Then after I do that, all the surfaces, I'm gonna practice my anterior and my posterior sepals. system project for head and neck. I have to study for head and neck. And then I have to deal with my patient stuff for radiology next week. And yeah. So today I'm going to church. When I get home I'm gonna get ready and yeah I'm gonna get ready Hey guys, so 
it's Friday. Um, it's been a long day. It's 5.30 and I'm going home now. So today, put this glare off my face. This Today at school, um, this morning, I finished my head and neck project and I studied last minute on top of what I studied last night. So yeah, I had a quiz this morning in head and neck anatomy. And then I turned in my project. Then head and neck was good. We were catching up from last week and since school was canceled last week. Okay. And what else did we do? And then I went to chemistry tutoring afterwards, which really helped because I finally understand now. Like, not really well, but I understand a lot better. Like, how to name alcohols and thiols and ethers. So that's good. And after that, I went into clinic to set up my, to break down the previous, the morning clinic, and then set up for my op for the afternoon. And so I did that. Um, yeah. That was just regular set up and breakdown. And then after that, um, we had a guest speaker from Oral B speak to us, or Procter and Gamble. She came from Procter and Gamble, and we all got free Oral B Genius toothbrush. I think it's in the back. I'll show it later. So we got that some Crest toothpaste and a little goodie bag with toothbrushes. That was really nice of her. Um, and so. Yeah, after class, after the, the guest speaker, I took it to my car, then went in, back into clinic to get ready for pre-clinic. And then so, I was on CA duty today, which means um, I help like make sure everyone has what they need, give everyone the air water syringe, and then at the end of the day is the longest because we have to... Um, put everything in sterilization, make sure everything's running in the autoclaves and everything, and even the laundry. So that's a long time. That's why I had to stay over class over an hour later, which is, th that time goes by so fast when you're sterilizing. That's good. And I also finished all my comps. I was so happy. I didn't know I was doing my sterilization comp at that time, so... That was my very last one I had to do. Today I finished my posterior Gracie curette and my anterior and posterior sickles. The teacher who comped me, she never comped like me before. She's not really in our classes, so that was different. I learned from her. There's a Tesla. So yeah, I finished my comps. Oh my comps for preclinic. I'm so excited. Now, but I didn't have time to do my radiograph interpretation, which it's gonna be late. So, yeah, it was supposed to be due today, but the school was closing and I had to go. Anyways, um, I need to do that. Next week, I need to figure out all my x-ray things. What else happened today? Oh, when I came to the car after sterilization, I got an email from my teacher saying that I am off intervention, which was like cherry on top of my day. Yeah, intervention means like my quiz grades, quiz and test grades are below a certain grade. So they put us on intervention to help us, to keep us from failing, which is good. I was on it for, I think three weeks, two or three weeks, I think it's three weeks. I barely ate today. I had one packet of Velveeta crackers in the morning. Well, morning and lunch. And then during the speaker, I had another few crackers. And then after that, I haven't eaten since. That was like four hours ago, five hours ago. I'm really hungry. I'm pretty sure we have ice cream at home. Cream and maybe some noodles, and I need to get some practice and radiograph interpretations done. 
<sighs> it was a really good day today. I'm so happy. Yeah. Can't really think. Anyways, that was completion of week 10. Four more weeks until finals and end the semester and break, which means in six weeks, I will be starting clinic. I cannot believe. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out now. <laughs> six more weeks until I start clinic with my very first patient. I'm excited. You guys, so today, Oral B or Pactor and Yamble came to our school today and gave us some free goods and talked to us about um, like the toothbrush, um, a toothpaste, and stuff like that. <laughs> I I already opened it, but let's do a little haul. They gave us this Crest and Oral B goodie bag, and in that goodie bag was four things. First was Glide Oral B Scope Outlast Floss Picks. There's three of them. So we got that. We got a toothbrush from Oral B. I think it's called All in One Pro Health. So this. And then we got a gum detoxify crest to this. And a crest 3D white fluoride. And a cavity toothpaste. And then the big gift. What's this? Oral B. My room's a mess, I know. Oral B. Genius. Professional exclusive. Electronic toothbrush with Bluetooth. Intelligent brush to clean like your dental professional recommends. Um, and then there's French. Dentist use worldwide. Okay. So. The features are position detection, helps you brush every area for the right amount of time to never miss a zone. That's common in a lot of electric toothbrushes. Re personalizable multicolor smart ring. I'm excited to use that. The lady said we can change the color through the app on our phone. So that's cool. Um, and it'll change colors when you, I think it'll turn red when, you, when you're pressing too hard on your teeth. And then, Oral B app for a daily monitoring of your habits and personalized brushing routines. So yeah, the app is available on Apple and Android. I mean, yeah, Apple and Android. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna open it now. Cover my messy floor. This is like, I think my first actual Electron, electric toothbrush besides the ones I've had as a kid as a kid and one my mom got for free at work this is like the real deal with like, actual features so here's the box here's the goods yeah nice okay oh is this the traveling set this is the travel case um, so, comes in a travel, comes with a travel case. And open it. That's where you put your toothbrush and then the heads over here. I'm gonna use that when I go out of town in a few weeks. And then you'll, what? Hmm. Okay. You take this out, the main body. And it is, I like this grip. Can you see that? There. There's a grip. Like, it's rubber and it has like embossed dots in it. Mmm, power button. It lights up. Can you see? And yeah. This is the battery level. Shows you fully charged. Bluetooth is on. I don't know what the other stuff means just yet. So look, 
when you brush too hard, it turns red. Can you see that? White, red. It burns. <laughs> so yeah. When you brush too hard, it turns red, so that means... And I was putting a lot of pressure, so that's really hard. I've never brushed like that before. And now, so... Ooh. It comes with a brush head here. And two brush heads here. These are just... Um, what kind is it? probably read it in the manual but they come with a pink green, blue green and a turquoise teal green kind of green and here's I'll just put it here here's the charging stand looks like a little toilet to me um, oh it has a little suction cup on the bottom here I think this is the one she said you can hang it on your mirror. I'm not sure. So that's unlocked. This is locked. The suction. How does it stay? I, I'm not sure. So I'll figure that out. Mm. Ooh. Oh, this is the charger. Oh, this is the charger. Okay, this is cute. Like a little photo booth. Okay, so this is the charger. This must be the holder. I'm pretty sure that's the holder. So, I mean, it's just a basic charger. You plug your plug it into the wall, your outlet, and then it charges. And next are the little booklets. So first thing that comes is coupons. Coupons. Ooh, expires twenty twenty one. I will be using this. Oh, two two coupons. And then here's the manual. Okay, easy looking instructions, just pictures. So yeah, this goes on the mirror like that. And then, how do you... Oh! It's for your phone! So you can watch... Like, watch how you're brushing or something. That's cool. So this is for your phone. That's nice. Mm, what else? It shows you how to stick your phone. And everything. And how to charge. Yep, okay. And now here's like the nitty gritty of the toothbrush. Here's the pictures, instructions. Hmm. I'll read all of that later. But okay. Okay, so here's the description. Number one, the brush head. Yes. Number two, the light is the smart ring, it's called a smart ring. The thing that lights up. And the power button, and then brush mode button. So brushing mode, when you turn it on, you press the little arrow. This is, okay, I'm just gonna talk about the features before I, while it's off. Okay, so six. Brushing mode display. What do the brush modes mean? I don't know. So 30 seconds per quadrant. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so I'll figure it out. Uh, you wanna know now? Okay, stay with me then. <laughs> Gum clear. Brushing modes, okay. So the brushing modes are um, the Tooth Plus, I think that's just, can you see? The tooth Plus, the first one, is Daily Clean, I think. And the Feather Must Be Sensitive, Diamond Pro Clean, 
or 3D light. And I think this little wave looking thing must be tongue cleaner. There's no pictures on which means what. Let's try it out. So let's turn it on. This is sensitive. Diamond clean. I think it's a diamond. And this is the little wave. Whatever that means. So then when you press too hard, that's hard. It leaves a dent in my hand. So, that's my little unboxing haul of the stuff. If you want to know more about this, I can maybe do a review. Um, I'm really excited to use all this. Especially this. I like travel cases. Oh, let's put it in. So you stick it in. It looks too. So you stick it in this crevice oh oh it goes on its side it goes on its side and then well I'm not gonna open my brush head now but one's gonna go here and one's gonna go here if I want to bring more than one then I close it and I have my thing I need a Let's see how much long the battery life is, because there's no space to bring your charger with you. Charging. A full charge typically takes 12 hours and lasts about 2 weeks of regular brushing, twice a day for 2 minutes. So it should last me for 2 weeks, like, without ever charging it. So that's, that's cool. Um... Thanks for watching, and I think that's the end of this week's vlog, maybe? Um, or just the end of today's vlog, whichever I'm doing. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Deco Hygiene School updates. Bye!